Probably with Fox when you can. I like Fox. What about me? I like you too, Alistair. Let's just say you bring out the best of me as well. What about me, Sir Pentis? Mm, I guess I kind of like you as well, Sir Pentis. Oh, yay! Don't push it. Oh. Relax, my dear. Who's my favorite snake in the world? <laughs> Me. I'm your favorite snake in the world. And who's the one who always makes me happy? <laughs> me again. And who's the one who brings me my food? Oh, that would be the servants, the eggs. He actually mentioned us in this video. Yay. Oh, we got mentioned, did we? That's great. Speak for yourself. No, 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 eggs. Clean your rooms and get yourselves ready. <gasps> Where are we going? We're going out to the park. We can't stay in Hasbin Hotel forever. Or oh, this place is it's for down the house. Let me ask you a question. Oh, go ahead, my dear friend. What well, is your question you want to ask before we end the video? If you're so rich and powerful, why live in this small house with these eggs and snake? Oh, that's easy. I may be rich and powerful like you. But I don't need money and power to make me happy. I prefer the finer things in life. Birds chirping, bees buzzing, dogs barking. I thought you didn't like dogs. No, 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 no! My brother Alistair doesn't like dogs. I adore little puppy dogs. They're so cute and cuddly. They only fear... He only fears them because he's got a phobia of dogs. Just like I have a phobia of cats. I told you, I'm the opposite of what he is. And what about boats? What about boats? He, he gets seasickness. He gets seasickness. I don't do seasickness. I love being on a cruise ship with all those wonderful demons. Fun memories. I see. What about you, Sir Princess? Do you prefer to go on a bomb? Oh, no, no, no. Being a snake, I prefer to be on land. I don't like the water. And yet, you drink it. Yes, but I don't like being in the water. It terrifies me. Ah, so you've got hydrophobia. What did you call me? No, no. Hydrophobia means you're afraid of water. You are really a smart for a demon, aren't you? I've had to read and study my my surroundings, my dear. I believe it was Raz al Ghul that said, Always mind your surroundings. What does that even mean? I don't know, but it does sound like a good line in the movie. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> Why don't we ever have Fox on this channel? I told you, Al. I told you about. I can't. I can't mimic his voice properly to have him on the show. And he's always busy doing your work at the. At the, uh. The studio? Yes, the studio. <laughs> so you have. So you're worth billions of dollars. Pounds? The British, remember? Fine. You're worth billions of pounds. And you're higher than me, and you live in this small house. And you wear nice clothes and fancy stuff. And you cook fancy meals. <coughs> Why live here? Why not live in a mansion like me? I told you. I don't need fancy things and all those doodads to make me happy. I'm happy being with the eggs and my dear loving husband. Who I love so much. My... Dear sweet Serpentus Blue. Oh, that was beautiful. It brings a tear to my eye. How did you two meet? I've told this story before. I was I was living at Hasbin Hotel. He and I was planning to hang myself, and his eggs brought me to him. And he took care of me for these past four months. I never went back. How did you bring your stuff home? Ah, I used the shadow demons to bring this, my clothes and everything on one of my possessions to me. I used the shadow portal to bring them back. You can do that? 
I can do many things that you're unaware of. Heck, I can even bend reality and go to the human world if I wanted to. But there's a thing about the humans. The, the disgusting creatures. No, 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 not that. They fear what they don't understand. There's no thing. People fear what they don't understand. And what they don't understand, they kill. True. That's why there's a rule that we're never allowed to go to the human world. That's why when we die as humans on Earth, we come here, to hell. And if we're good, we go to heaven. Hmm. But there's going to be one problem. If we all go to heaven, there's not going to be a hell, because there's not going to be a balance. One can't live while the, while the other one dies out. Hmm. I know. I figured that out. See, I made a contingency plan, just in case that happens. What did you do? I changed Charlie's plans that only half of the eight demons go to heaven and the rest of us stay in hell. You see, if she sends all 3,000 demons to heaven, there's not going to be a balance in hell. Hell will cease to exist and it's just going to be a dry wasteland of desert and nothingness. And I can't have that. Been there, done that. I lived in that area for a thousand years. I don't wish to risk... I don't... risk my... I do not wish to have that happen to me again. So you don't want to live in a desert? You don't understand, my dear Serpensis. Us non-canon us non-canon characters will cease to exist. Without hell, we may no longer cease to be. All the non-canon non characters will end up disappearing like that movie. What was that movie called? Oh, I saw this one. And she saw me a while back, um, the Infinity Saga, where Thanos, I believe, snapped his fingers and it wiped out half of the existence. Yes, well, think of it like this, when we dust and uh, fade away, we cease to exist. So let me get this straight, all the non-canon characters will just die out? Exactly. Why do you think we're not in this show? Wait a minute, are you saying that I will cease to exist? No, my dear princess. You do, you are a kind of character on this show, and so is Valtino. I, Alice Blue, am not a non, a, not, I am not a non character character. So therefore, I will not exist when the show airs. Hold on, didn't the devil make you out of his DNA? Aren't you just. Alistair b just blue. Yes, but I've only been in the the comic dubs, the comic dubs twice. Once when I was talking to Charlie, and I well, I upset my brother, and he was very very upset about what I did to Charlie. <laughs> I can't tell you what I did to Charlie, because this is a PG-13 area. Oh, you naughty thing, you. And then. Again, when he, pulled, when he did this famous rabbit out of the hat trick. Oh, that's right, you made your small appearance when he pulled you out of the hat, saying, Hmm, I wanted a rabbit, not a blue demon. You... Weren't, weren't you a, a depressing demon at the time? Oh my heavens, you think I want to be a depressing demon all the time? That's why the love got hold of me. I put a little bit of happiness and pep in my... In me. Before I came, before I became here, before I came to Aspen Hotel. Ah, so you really are like Alistair, but you're more of a happy character. Yes, that's the point. Like I said before, I know the point of the character is to make people laugh. In these desperate times, they need a bit of laughter in their life. That's why me and Sir Pence is here. Hmm. Oh, that's why me and Serpent is here. I don't can't believe characters. The world is not in any good shape as it is, and the world needs laughter and happiness right now to make the world a better place. <laughs> I see. 
how interesting. So, how did you get? Well, how did you become? How did you become uh, two people then? Well, that's a good question. You see, when we fell from Earth to Hell, we felt like a comet, and when we struck the ground, you got Alice the Red, and then you got Alice the Blue. He was evil, and conniving, and smart, and I was depressed, evil, and sad. But Lucifer took me in and gave me the exact same power and knowledge that he gave Alistair. Lilith gave me all of the happiness that Alistair didn't have. Why do you think he's so miserable and depressed for? Because he doesn't have happiness in his soul. I was one part of Alistair that didn't exist until now. Ah, but why do you hold a grudge against him then? Ah, that I can tell you. You see, a long time ago, back in 1945, he killed my dear friend. A girl, back in the 1940s, she was trying to tell him to stop killing human beings for his own selfish gain. And instead of listening to her, he took his brutish hands around her and snapped her poor neck. I was the sadness in his life and I said, Alistair, what did you do? And he laughed. And then he buried her body and then killed himself. But when he killed himself, he separated me from him. So when the bullet hit his brain, you're a part of him that was separated from him because you couldn't stand him. I was the good inside of him that was trying to get out. Ah, I see. Interesting. So you're his better half. In, in a weird way, yes. After he killed her, he buried her, buried her and he went to her funeral every single day. I was the one who resurrected her from the dead, but he took credit for my hard work. And does she ever see me? No. She prefers to see him from time to time. She never comes to see me. Hell, Cherry Bomb's not even a main character and she barely comes to see me. Weren't you and Cherry Bomb a thing back in the day, said Pences? Oh, we were a thing. We were the, We had it. We were in hot passion together and she forgot all about me. So I came to you instead. Ah, yes. And then you had a thing with Angel as well? Only a few times, Alistair. But again, it didn't work out with me and, and with me and Angel. Sad to say, old friend. You're so funny and charming to be around. Oh, so are you, Alistair. That's why I like having you around. Me and the eggs were so lonely before we found you. <laughs> Not hard to find, my dear. Just look in the Hasbin Hotel and you'll be there. And if you do wish to come see me, Serpensis, you know where my studio is. Ew, why would I ever want to come to see you? The picnic. Oh yes, I see you for that. I don't like having you around, Valtino. It's just mean. <laughs> that is because Angie's the one who made me this way. I am the way I am because of him. Maybe if you were with us, you'd be a better person. Well, we'll see. As time tell, as time goes by, we'll see. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have to tell you today. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, and thank you for listening to my stories. There will be more stories to come, but in the near future, me. Valtino and Serpensis and Serpensis are going to take a break for a while. At least a month. So all this November you won't be hearing from us, but in December we've got quite a few good tales to tell you. But for now This is Goodbye. <laughs>